Hey guys, this is Glenn from Glenn Reptiles. I wanted to share with you uh, some of my snakes from my collection today. And I spoke today as good as any day uh, to show you my Nelson's Milk Snakes. Uh, I have albino and T-positive albino Nelson Milk Snakes. And uh, uh, as I get them out, they may poop on me. That's one of their trademark moves. Um, but hopefully if I handle them gently, uh, they will get along with me today. So I want to start off with my adult pair that I have um, been breeding for the last several years. This is my T positive male and uh, beautiful guy. Their colors are so bright and, and you know, distinct. Um, I want to show you a trait that I think led to um, an interesting genetic discovery and that is if you see these bands, they don't go all the way around. You see his belly is white. His bands stop before they go all the way around. So they're almost like extended saddles instead of bands. And I noticed that about him and I thought that was interesting. Well, I ended up picking up a female, amazingly, as far as I know, completely unrelated. And this girl, is an albino, a completely unrelated female with that same trait. So as you can see that, those bands don't go all the way around. But again, a beautiful female uh, albino Nelson. She's in shed, so normally she'd be a little brighter. But uh, yeah, it's, it's that time of year. These two have been going at it and should be giving me another bunch of eggs. So here's the interesting thing. If you breed an albino, just a regular albino to a T positive Nelsons, you end up getting half a clutch of T positive albino Nelsons and half a clutch of regular albino Nelsons. And so I've been breeding these guys for years. I'm getting T positives, I'm getting albinos. And uh, because of, I believe, that odd sort of uh, uh, pattern on those two snakes, I get a lot of sort of aberrant sort of uh, snakes. And so this last year I, I produced one that had like this high cheek. In fact, I'll show you that one, maybe. Let me see what she's looking like. She's right here. Oh yeah, she's, she's in shed, but I think I can show you. So this girl was produced last year, and you can see that high white cheek pattern on her head. Um, so she's got a few things going on. She's got that, so the band doesn't go across her head like the normal ones do. She's got something going on. See the white thing at her neck? <laughs> something going on there. And again, most of her bands don't go all the way around as well. So that gives you little bit of an idea. I produce a bunch of different um, animals that have a little different look. Well, every once in a while one pops out that is very unique and I have called those red backs. Let me show you my original red back. Let's see what she's doing. So this one's a T positive and uh, here's my red back. She's a female. So you can see a large portion of her back is completely just red. She has a little bit of pattern up front, uh, banding up front. But again, that banding doesn't go all the way around. And even, interestingly, even on her red back, those bands that start really low don't go on her belly. So she's an interesting gal. I was excited to try to reproduce something with that kind of very long, unique red back on, on it. Um, a, a year or two later, I ended up producing uh, a male with a similar pattern. Now remember, most of her, her banding, the little bit of banding she has is all towards her head. Well, I produced a male where he is a red back in the front and has a little bit of banding at his tail. So there's his tail and you can see some of his banding. 
But as you move up to the front, he's all red back. So you can get the idea there. So these are some pretty incredible animals. I would love to try to really reproduce these in some kind of significant number and kind of be able to verify you can produce redbacks from redbacks. This is the first year I've tried putting these two together. Um, and so maybe uh, if she lays eggs, these two will produce some pretty interesting babies. So that's what I'm hoping for. Two T positives. You can see pretty unique patterning on these guys, even on the, the sides where they don't have the red back. They have some pretty cool stuff going on. So up until last year, I had never produced an albino red back. And again, it made me wonder, is it possible that this is only related to whatever's making things T positive. But last year I did produce my first albino redback. And thankfully it's a girl. So I've got a girl T positive redback, a male T positive redback, and now an albino female T positive, uh, no, an albino redback um, female. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. So she's kind of harder to see because she's a squirmy little baby who's now pooping on me. But you can see, she's a redback. She's got the attitude of a little baby milk snake. Jumpy, jumpy poop. And then occasionally a, throw in a little bite for good measure. Um, but again, you can see her belly doesn't have bands going across it. Um, and uh, yeah, so pretty interesting snake. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm excited about that breeding project. Uh, by the way, I do have um, some albino and T positive babies available at this point. Um, this is, what is the date? It is March 20th, 2001. So if you're watching this video um, sometime after that, a short time after that, maybe I'll have some uh, babies still available. If you're watching it another time, maybe I'll have some babies then as well because they'll be laying eggs shortly. So anyway, uh, if that's something you're into, uh, Nelson's Milk Snakes, this is a pretty fun project to get going on. Um, all of the babies that I'm selling are related to that trait because I only have those two adult uh, snakes that have produced all of those. So. Uh, guaranteed to be from that same line. Uh, and if you're interested, hit me up. Um, you can find me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, you can send me an email. Uh, and I'm on Morph Market also, Glen Reptiles on Morph Market, which I will generally post stuff uh, on there as well. And actually, these snakes are on there right now. So hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy uh, taking a moment to share with you some of the snakes that I keep and uh, hope you have all the best.